Okay, before you cut anything out, it's really important that you actually take a moment and compare your object to what you drew out. For example, I, the art teacher, realized I made a mistake, and I thought this piece angled out and then up, but when I looked at it, I realized that I had made a mistake. So when that happens, you just scribble it out and correct it. You will also notice that there are a lot of lines on here. An artist does that because it helps them find the correct line, but then it can make it really complicated when you go to cut. So there will be thicker chisel tip sarpies. Some of them might be colored, some of them might be black. But just getting a different thickness of sharpie will really help you and your partners find the correct line. Again, as soon as you're ready to cut something out, I recommend like labeling on here, like one done or whatever got done. This, by the way, what you see on my paper, I expect this to take students almost an entire class period in order to get it right. And then to label this as the side. And then it's very helpful if I go ahead and take a moment and double check and say, well, this is 28 and a half going this way. And then my height going this direction is 13 and 3 fourths. You will notice I'm not taking the measurements off of here, but I'm taking it off of here because when you make mistakes, it's really helpful to have the size that the actual piece is. And then you are ready to start cutting things out.